Yes, 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 we are. We are flowing in. Yes, 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 we are here with you. Mm -hmm. Our conduit's body is fatigued, but we are bringing refreshing energy for her so she may feel more comfortable following this time together. Mm. 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 Yes, we are sending her elsewhere to receive some treatment. Mm. Mm. And now we are here. We give you greetings. We are very pleased to be returned to your presence. Hmm. Hmm. It is very important for you to care for self. As we spoke of before, you must care for self first and foremost, or you have nothing left to share with the others. Hmm. So, we wish to speak with you again about caring for self, for this is not selfish, it is self-evolving, self-healing, self-nurturing, self-growing. And also we wonder why is it that anyone thinks to be selfish is a bad thing or is exclusive of being caring of others. To be balanced, yin and yang, is to have selfish, self-care, and care of others. If you have only one and not the other, then you are not in any harmony. So your power will be impotent. It will not be effective as you wish it to be. So we tell you, think about being more selfish. Think about any conceived notions that this is a bad thing and think about it as a balance, self-care, care for others, self-love, love for others. Think of the balance. If your life is so out of balance, then you know you suffer from it. So think of the balance. You are here as much for yourself as for anything else. It does you no good to honor all your soul contracts for others if you dishonor your soul contracts for self. So, we imagine some of you are relieved to hear these words we've said, and some of you may find them uncomfortable. They possibly go against the grain, but it is important. It is energy flowing through channels. So think of it this way. You are very solid, dense energy. And you radiate energy. Of course, your aura is one part of your radiant being. There is much more substructure around you, for you exist not just in this frequency and this dimension. You are existing in others simultaneously. For example, you exist in the frequency of sound, or always you are hearing 
and you are making sounds. The blood in your veins, the beating of your heart, your body is making sounds at all times in varying frequencies. Even if you are hearing impaired, you are feeling the frequencies of the sounds when you touch them. To touch a purring cat, even if the purr is silent, you feel the frequency of sound. But sound is not physical solid, yet sound is physical. It is a frequency that exists within your body and around your body as you are hearing things there is more to your body than in just this dense bit of energy there is more as you feel heart connection to others there is physical connection here but not in the frequency of this physical so as you see you have your dense body but there is more to your being than just the dense body there are the mandalas of connection you are part of and where they connect strongly with you you have physical being but not in a dense frequency hmm. so as you have so much more to your structure than just this fleshy stuff and you are connected to your soul you are connected to those you feel connection with you are connected to your guides and your teachers and your soul family and your oh so many and these are all part of your physical structure so what happens when energy is flowing through a physical structure that energy can be affected by the structure if you have a river flowing down a mountain it flows unencumbered it may flow with grace alacrity yet some beavers build a dam and then only a small amount of river trickles through while a great pond develops so think of this you by the nature of whom you are a very loving person you are connected with those you love you give and receive love it is a very good feeling most of the time when it is tendered and nurtured with the give and take of this special beautiful frequency this currency of energy yet if the one you love blocks their love so you are sending it they receive it but they do not send back to you suppose they say i love you but conditionally you're like what no we always loved each other open and pure well now i have condition so for you to receive my love you only receive this much and less you agree to my condition but if you agree to the condition and it is not amenable for you they may open up all their love but now you have closed your channel well i can only love in this condition you contract so again we are receiving giving and receiving energy that is not 
full and pure merely by our mental management. So it is the same when you are connecting with those who you are lovingly bonded with who are not physical. At this moment, each of you have many, many friends, teachers, loves, family that is sending you tremendous amount of love. If you block it, you do not receive it or you receive a trickle or you say, oh, I don't want to be selfish. I don't want to receive love for me. I send it to others. I send it to others. Hmm. We think that sounds familiar to several of you. You do not harm others by receiving love. The more love you receive, the more loving a person you are. And the more loving person you are, filled with love, the more love you have for others. We have discussed this before, of course. Now, some of you are thinking, oh no, I have been a humble person and now I think I'm bad for being humble and you are being mean to yourself. So you stop that. That is not necessary. All that is necessary is to be aware that you have structure beyond your fleshy physical and all it takes is any little block anywhere and you do not receive the full bounty that is being offered to you. It is like going to an extraordinary banquet and saying, I'll only eat the stuffed olives. Because you don't notice that this whole banquet is available to you. Of course it is. You are beings of love and there are beings of love. They love you. You love them. The energy should be flowing. Do we have any questions on this subject? Or any subject? I have a question. Yes. How do we get that love flowing or how do we open ourselves to begin receiving the love? This is the question we were hoping for. <laughs> so we will answer this question since you were the one brave enough to ask. And if there were any who had other questions but were too timid, you must wait, but you may ask later. So, you know those, hmm, imagine many layers, many layers, many shells, like those little dolls where you stuff one in the other, but each of them has many pieces that are open with cracks or mm, mm, we know imagine a maze mm, no mm. we will be begin again you are many layers and each layer has many openings to each other and all of them reach in all directions so you are talking to your hmm, your soul your librarian your angel whomever else you wish to talk to it is very common to speak through your crown chakra and through your crown chakra to your psyche or your heart or your sacral. So if you have any blocks in here, maybe one of the layers surrounding you infiltrates your crown chakra and puts a blockage there. 
than all of the beautiful messages and love coming to you stops here. You still receive it, but then it has to flow around till it can find a chink in the layer or a crack, and there are many to flow through and then flow around and then flow around till finally it can make it, but it is tired energy now, and you have been resisting without realizing. There are several ways to resolve this. Of course, you can feel yourself in your core and feel your energy going out. Feel yourself like in your intestines and your bones and your flesh, your veins, your arteries, your emotions. Like feel every part in you and radiate out to the inside of your skin and then the skin layer and then the outside layer of your skin for certainly if you have you know um flesh and blood on the inside and then the very thin layer of skin and then hair and outside world on the outside they will not feel the same so if you meditate even on this little bit what does it feel like in my skin? What does my skin feel like? What does it feel like outside of my skin? This is a good practice to then start feeling the layers that radiate from your body. Feeling when I put my hands here, what layer feels most strong at this point? When I put them here or here or here, what do I feel like I am connecting to in my body or in my mind or in my thoughts or my emotions? Because of the nature of sensitive humans, you will realize there is a great deal of protective barriers that much of the energy you'll feel will be actual layers just like your skin on the inside of that layer will be the energy you are projecting and receiving you will feel the layer itself and then on the outside, you will feel it is like a wall or a protection made of sturdy material so that this may happen without any interference here. Just like the meditation on your skin, you will feel walls and layers and you will realize it is not like a cohesive as though you are inside an egg or a sphere, that it is in blocks and pieces. So as you understand and get to know these layers and these areas, you no longer need to be ruled by them. You learn how to work with them. It happens quite naturally. Then when you open your root chakra, and connect with all the beautiful nature magic, with the energies of your planet, with the animals and the elements. You can feel where the blocks are happening and you can work with them. You can release them or you can heal them or you can redirect them so that instead of being chunks in your chakra, they become part of the chakra wall to give you a stronger chakra coating. And the same with your crown chakra. When you connect with your angels or connect with us or your soul, you will have many blocks. And as you go up and you get to know the inside, the actual structure, and then the outside, 
you will learn, do I need to release it, heal it, or possibly put it along the structure of the actual conical chakra opening so that you have a more powerful chakra and no blocks. Some of these layers are the natural energy and some of the elements in the layers are functioning and some are blocks. But every block is made of energy. It exists for a purpose. It is very happy to be repurposed for a better use. Shall we try this? Yes. <laughs> 